Hey everyone, it's Ashley. I am here to help make Wix simple, and we are talking all about menus today. So I have a lot of clients who have reached out after we've built a site and they want to add a page or hide a page or rearrange their menu. And I'm going to show you all of our options for making those types of changes to our menu. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple different menu setups that you might find on your Wix website. So we're just going to dive right in. Um, here on this website, which is my website, you can see that I'm in my editor and I'm hovering over my menu here. Um, when I click on this, you can see I've got it selected in this orange box. It tells me that I have a horizontal menu selected. When I click that, I can um, see all of the different options that are given to me up in these little bubbles here. I'm going to select Manage Menu at the moment, and what that is going to do is simply pop out this little uh, menu on the left that holds all of our site pages. So you don't actually have to click on your menu to make adjustments to it. You can navigate using this little page here. Let me move my little. You can navigate by selecting this pages and menu, clicking it, and then you're going to see every single page that is on your website. Um, you kind of get a quick view of whether or not a page is visible or not. You can also maybe see some anchor links that you may have um, included in your menu. So let's cover the basics here. You'll notice that all of the titles, the names of these pages, display in the menu just like they do here in my menu here. And so if you are wanting all of the page titles in your menu to be all capitalized, this is where you are going to be doing that. It will display just how it is shown here on the left side. If you have a page that was either auto-populated or that you've built out that you don't want to be visible on your main menu, from this menu on the left, you can simply go to the ellipses on the whatever page it is that you want to hide, click those, and you'll see a lot of different um, choices that you can select to interact with this page. But if you scroll down to the, the little eye icon with a slash through it and click hide, that is what is going to hide your page from the main menu. So you'll notice that I'm currently on the about page right now, but I'm no longer seeing the about page in this main horizontal menu. Another way to navigate um, around your Wix website is this switch page option up here. So if I click this little down arrow, I'm going to also see over here all of the different pages on my website and so that's a really easy way to kind of skip back and forth between pages on your site but let's pop open our pages and menu again i'm going to make this page visible so again say you accidentally had a page hidden and you'd like to make it visible again we're going to use the same ellipses to open all of our options and then you'll select the little eye icon that says show now, maybe the order of the pages in this menu are not how you want them to be displayed on your website. Um, that is a very easy fix. All of these little page elements are, you can drag and drop them. So maybe I want my contact uh, menu item up here to go all the way to the end of the menu. All I'd have to do there is click onto it and then I can pick it up and drag it where I want. So I'm going to click it. I don't want it to be a sub menu, so I'm going to pull it over. Um, but I've, I've brought it to the very bottom of this list and you'll see here that it is now at the end of my menu. Um, let's talk about adding things to sub menus really quick because I know I just dropped my little contact friend down into a sub menu. Um, you can build out sub menus right from this menu as well. Maybe let's just show this blog for a second. Maybe I want my blog to be underneath my services as part of this sub menu. This is also going to be a drag and drop motion. So you'll watch here on the menu up kind of in our site preview here in the editor that it's going to go from being here at the end of my menu and then it'll become a sub menu item. So all I have to do is click onto it, select it. I can see the brackets, um, a little preview of the brackets, and I know that it is going underneath this main service area. If I wanted to preview that, I could 
hop over here to preview, and then you're gonna see it here in my menu dropdown. You can also, let's just go undo really quickly the chaos that I've just created. Um, you can also add pages from this menu as well as adding kind of more specific menu items. So maybe there's something on your site that you want on your main menu, but it doesn't necessarily have its own page. Maybe it's an anchor that you've put on one of your existing pages. Using this little link plus button here, you can add a menu item, just like how you'd add a link to any other active element on your site. So when I click into that, I'm given all of the options that I can link to. And this is, you might recognize this as the link action box that you get when you're trying to connect a button or a bit of text or an image. So your options here are pretty endless, whether you want it to navigate to a specific page, uh, take somebody off of your website to an existing URL, navigate to an anchor, the top or bottom of a page, a document, so lots of options. Um, you can also use this other button down here to create a drop-down submenu with sub pages. So I'll click into that and show you what that looks like. What we're doing here is we're creating a folder and this as you can kind of preview up here is a menu item on our main menu but it isn't a page itself so maybe i am just going to call this resources and when i hop into preview what you'll notice is that because this isn't a page and it's just a folder i can't actually click on that but if i do put some items underneath that folder or within that folder when I hover over that word on my menu, it's going to um, show me a drop down. So just for the sake of fun, we're going to drop these down below. We're going to show them really quickly. Whoops. Oh, wait, I can't show you uh, <laughs> an error page, but I can show you the blog. And so let's hop back into preview. And previously, when I hovered over resources, I wasn't shown anything. And now you can see that the link to my blog lives under resources. So the main place that you are going to be making adjustments to your menu is here in the sites, the site pages and menu tab. So I'm just gonna clean up my mess again really quickly, or you know what, I will deal with it later. But um, there's lots of different options here. I, I utilize hidden pages quite a bit on my own website and on a lot of my clients websites and um, keeping this nice and tidy is I think very helpful. So those are the basics of your menu, how to navigate it, how to rearrange things. And if your menu did not look like this, I'm going to show you another um, menu setup that might be the menu setup that you're working with. So here is a client's website and she has a different kind of menu. So this can happen um, due to either building your site in a different um, editor. So maybe you use Editor X or Addy. Uh, maybe you kind of opted into a advanced menu feature. Um, if your menu was not like this first example, my guess is that this is what your menu is like. So just like on the first site, I'm going to go to this menu and select it. I can see I have the menu selected. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click this manage menu button. And what you'll notice here is that instead of popping open my pages, it's popping open this own, its own little menu tool. And this is where I can see, it's very similar to my pages on this site where I'm kind of getting an overview, um, but it is not automatically putting all of my items there. So a lot of the things are the same as I showed you at first. Um, like if I wanted to make something a sub page, I can lift it and move it around. Um, but we also have the ability to add menu items using this button here. So this add menu item will allow you to select a site page, a link, a section, an anchor, a sub or that kind of sub menu section to this. And then it's also um, 
each item has an ellipsis that you can adjust and edit it that way. So for instance, maybe the yoga page on this website needs to be renamed. I can select the ellipses here and then rename the page right inside of this menu management. Um, I can also remove links or I can go to the settings and SEO of the site or I can hide it from menu. So a lot of the same um, concepts apply. It's just sort of in a different place here. When I do go to my pages and menu over here and make changes, for instance, maybe I want to put members at the other side of about. Um, yeah, you'll notice that it, it they don't correlate this site pages and menu and the main menu here. So if that first half of this video, you were like, that is not doing anything, um, this would probably be the menu setup that you are dealing with. And um, you'll see here, there are a lot of pages that aren't on this menu, um, but the place that you wanna go to adjust this type of menu is in this little area called manage menu here. And that I think covers the most basic concepts when it comes to making changes and adjustments to your Wix website menu. If you have specific questions about menus in your Wix website that I didn't answer here, feel free to leave those in the comments and thanks for watching.